assalamu alaikum today's lecture is going to be about one of the mechanical properties which is stress as written in mccabe what is stress when an external force is applied to a body an internal force which is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction is set up in that body this internal component or this internal force is called stress and the formula for stress is force per unit area now you have to keep this in mind that stress is an internal component right now what are the units or what is the unit of stress the unit of stress is basically pascal creates restrictive dental materials it says that when a force acts on a body tending to produce some deformation a resistance is developed within the body to this external force application right now this internal reaction is equal in intensity in opposite that di in direction to the applied external force and this internal component is called stress now both this external applied force and this internal resistance which is called stress they are distributed over a given area of a body and thus stress in a structure is designated as force per unit area in mccabe dental materials there are three types of stresses given which is tensile stress compressive stress and shear stress there is another book which is basically uh, craig's restorative dental materials and in this book there are five different types of stresses given on the five types of stresses include number 1 tensile stress the force is axial and the deformation is elongation elongation deformation and the forces applied are directed opposite to each other and hence the material will elongate so the stress developed is tensile stress the second type of stress is compressive stress the force applied will be definitely axial and deformation will be shrinkage of the material and this is how the forces are directed towards each other and the material shrinks third type of stress is shear stress the formation will be shear and the force is shear and this is basically when a uh, material slides over one another or the layers of material slides over one another fourth one is torsional stress and th basically this is when twisting moments are applied the stress develops within the body is called torsional stress and then flexural stress or bending stress occurs when uh, bending moments Uh, movements are applied uh, to the body and bending deformation is produced so these arrows basically depict the direction of force and hence these are the five different types of stresses okay so we read a little more and uh, in explanation they have told that tension results when uh, the body is subjected to forces directed away from each other compression results when the body is subjected to two sets of forces directed towards each other shear is a result of two sets of forces directed parallel to each other torsion results from twisting of a body and bending results from an applied bending movement